Season 2, Episode Number 28, Amex Platinum and Travel Benefits. Who knew? This episode is brought to you by Hotel Tonight. Good things come in threes. If you're up to making a weekend a three-day, these sweet spots offered by Hotel Tonight offer additional discounts when you stay Papa! three nights or more. Use my promo code N-I-B-A-B-E-L to receive $25 off your first booking. Welcome to the weekly edition of Flyer Girl Talk. Nina does not do domestic. She's not a backpacker, avoids hostels, and she reps bad and bougie experience on a budget. If you have the same travel feels, you're in the right place. 31 countries later, get Nina's read on her own travel style, destination deets, trip ideas, and helpful tips that are not always easy to find on your own. Press the subscribe button on your mobile and put this show on lock to get the inside dish on this Flyer Girl's Truths every week. All right, guys, July is here and the summer travel season is officially in full swing. But that doesn't mean you can't make new travel goals for the rest of 2018 and beyond. It's not too late, peeps, to experience a vacation, a holiday, staycation, a spontaneous getaway this fall or winter. Hashtag travel goals. In today's episode, you're going to learn practical Keep It 100 everyday tips for Amex Platinum members. Next, number two, we have actionable, common, make sense type of perks that will enhance your entire travel experience, starting with trip planning to boarding your flight. And lastly, the most important, arriving at your destination. Thirdly, I'm going to fill you in on hotel, airport, car rental, Uber, global entry, TSA, pre-check, and lounge access privileges. And then lastly, grab a pen, get your mobile, iPad, or laptop. You're going to want to take notes or refer to the show notes. As you guys know, I've traveled to 32 countries. And truth be told, I've been a Platinum member for almost 20 years. The caveat is 20 years ago, I wasn't traveling like I am now. I was more sporadic then and I was on a budget. I was in my 20s and I was more traveling for business, I think more than anything. So I was traveling on their dime, not mine. So fast forward 2018, I've now zeroed in on my Amex Platinum benefits. And I'm like, WTF, what the heck have I been doing? (laughs) Seriously, I think of all those times when I was in the airport, hotel, layovers, and missed out totally. Not totally, but you get the gist. I mean, a good example is paying for an airport lounge when I clearly had access to one. So wheels up. I'm about to school you without having to read the fine print on what all these Amex Platinum benefits are. All right, I'm going to start with the biggest bang for your buck, and that's booking your ticket. If you book your ticket with Amex Travel, check this out, because I didn't even know this. You'll get $200 in credit on your tickets every year. You heard me right. A $200 airline fee credit every calendar year. Key is you have to designate an airline. So that just means whatever your preferred airline is, you just make it that. And then if you make an eligible purchase between January 1 and December 31, you will be reimbursed within a few days. So if you think this is totally good to be true, it kind of (laughs) is. And next, I'm going to talk about how the airline fee credit can be applied. And you could only apply this towards your airline fees, right? So stuff like upgrades, which I've talked about in past episodes, mileage point purchases, mileage point transfer fees, if you're buying any gift cards, duty-free purchases, and award tickets, these are not deemed to be incidental fees. So what does that mean? These credits can be used for a wide variety of things, lounge memberships, to cancellation fees, to status, challenge fees, and in many cases, gift cards. 
So your call to action is before you use your Amex Platinum card to pay an airline fee, make sure you designate which airline you want the credit to be valid for. Your choices are Alaska, American Delta, Hawaiian, JetBlue, Southwest, and United. Each year, you have to designate an airline for your airline fee credit. And this can be done at the following website. Get a pen, get your laptop, iPhone, whatever. AmericanExpress.com forward slash airline choice. And you can change your designated airline once a year. So pick right. If you've already designated your airline for your fee credit, kudos, high five. It automatically gets transferred over to the next year. So there's nothing that you have to do. Uber benefits. Yes, this was added recently in 2018. And it makes sense because Uber is just widely used by everybody, including me. All right. So this is the deal. You get $200 annual credit with Uber. Unfortunately, this is not just for a single $200 Uber credit or single ride that you can use at your convenience. It comes in the form of $15 per month Uber credit and an additional $20 in December for a total of $35 worth of Uber credits in December. So as long as you spend that $15 a month credit on Uber, in December, it's a little different. Maybe they're feeling merry and Christmassy in December. But the point is to maximize this. So what's your call to action? Well, duh. I say activate your Amex Platinum Card Uber credit ASAP. And to do so, this is what you do. You add your Amex Platinum Card as the primary payment method through the Uber app. So I'm going to lead you and guide you to do this. And if you follow me on social, you will see a little video tutorial just kind of navigating you through all that. So this can be done by opening up the app and clicking on payment and then entering the Amex Platinum card number, the expiration, security, and zip. You get it. You've done this numerous times. And then you should see the credit listed in your payment drop down. It should say Amex benefit next to it. Uber can tell right away that the card is in fact a platinum card and that is how they link it. So to recap, when you request a ride, you should see the credit reflected in the right above the button where you request the ride. Unless you change anything, that credit will be automatically applied toward the cost of the ride. So if you don't want to use the credit towards your next ride, click on the Amex credits area. I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> and you'll be able to change your payment method. So each $15 Uber credit is valid for that month only that it's issued. Get it? So that means that if one is issued on July 1, it's valid through to July 31st. And unlike promo codes, these credits can be applied towards multiple rides. So if you have a $10 ride and use that credit, you still have $5 to spend. So if you don't use the credit, it's use or lose and you lose if you don't use it. So even if you have nowhere to go, just take a ride, just go somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's too hot outside and you don't want to walk, just friggin' hop in your Uber. So if you really want to get savvy and you have a promo code and this credit, yes, the two are combinable. That is the bonus tip. All right. And so I will conclude here by saying that you have to link your Amex Platinum card for the purpose of triggering this Uber benefit. All right. The next Benny, as I'll call it, is adding authorized users. So you do have some options here for adding authorized users to the Amex Platinum card. You can add up to three people and you do have to pay a fee of $175. So if you have a small company, this might make sense. And additionally, they will have access to the Amex Centurion lounges. If you are the primary card member, let's say you're an entrepreneur and you have three employees, maybe you're a fashion photographer and you have a stylist, a makeup artist, and a videographer traveling with you, you can collectively bring 12 people into a lounge. All right, next, 
This is for all card members, so you don't have to be platinum to enjoy this. This is the exception to the rule in this episode, but I just wanted to let you know that Amex has travel insiders and what those folks are, they're essentially your concierge and they will design your vacation for you. So if you don't have the time to research, leave your trip in the skilled hands of these professionals. It will save you time from discovering new places and they could come up with a customized itinerary for a number of destinations. So again, this perk is not just limited to platinum, but to all, it applies to all card members. All right, so if you're not staying at an Airbnb and your choice is a hotel and resort, you will receive complimentary benefits. Number one, including a noon check-in upon arrival when available. (laughs) That is key when you're arriving somewhere early like I do and you take those early flights. So a room upgrade Upon arrival, when it's available, check this out. You get daily breakfast for two people, complimentary Wi-Fi, 4 p.m. late checkout, and there is more. A special amenity that varies by property. Could be a $100 food and beverage credit or even a massage. Of course, this will vary by property, but... Again, these are your core benefits. Daily breakfast for two, room upgrade upon arrival, a unique property amenity, so that's subject to the property, 4 p.m. guaranteed checkout, noon check-in, and complimentary in-room Wi-Fi. So it's important to know these benefits. That way you could tell the hotel exactly when you want to check in, check out, and request any of these other services. This is where you get your bang for your buck, especially if you're staying for like a holiday, a staycation, three day or a layover. These type of deals are sweet when you're doing a short stay because you already get the hundred dollar credit per stay, right? You following me? It's that property credit that you get as a platinum member, including for a one night stay. So look, If you're staying somewhere and it's like $150 a night, let's throw that out there, $200 a night, you have that $100 credit. So it's tough to beat a cheap rate at a hotel when you're getting an upgrade, free breakfast, guaranteed checkout, and a $100 credit of some sort. (laughs) So I lied. There is one more fine hotel and resort, Benny. So oftentimes they have a third and a fourth night free offer. So combine all these benefits that I just talked about and get your third or fourth night free. That's a heck of a lot of value for a holiday, a three day staycation or even layover. So grab your pen, your iPad, desktop, your laptop, whatever. This is where you can make a fine hotel and resort booking. You have to do it through American Express fhr.com which is usually my preferred method or you could just call the Amex Platinum Card Concierge and just deal with somebody one on one so the next one is kind of robust but we're going to talk about hotel statuses and the Platinum Card comes with three statuses right so you have the Hilton Honors Gold status Starward Preferred guest status and since Marriott took over Starwood a few years ago they're now including the SPG gold status that can be matched to the Marriott rewards gold status so if you're not any one of these statuses you can easily apply it's not even applying you just could request your free gold statuses and there's different pages to access once you log into your American Express account. And I would say plan to have this completed and automatically updated to gold status within 72 hours in each of those cases, whether you're a Hilton member or not, a Starwood member or not, a Marriott gold status member or not. It's so easy breezy and worth the time just getting all of them under your belt. 
And here's the bonus tip. If you are a Marriott member like me, starting this August, the Marriott Rewards now includes the Ritz-Carlton and other Starwood preferred guests will come together under one powerful program. All right, let me just give you some highlights on what you get with each status. So with the Hilton, you get a complimentary breakfast. Um, If space is available, you can get an upgrade to a club level room. You get 25% bonus points and a late checkout is not guaranteed, but it's worth asking. And next, if you're an SPG gold status um, member, which you should be because I'm telling you just to request it, you get 50% bonus points and a guaranteed 4 p.m. late checkout, except for when you're staying at a resort, you get an upgrade to an enhanced room, premium in-room internet. I love that because I like a fast internet and a welcome gift of a bonus star points and a free welcome drink. I'm all for that. And then lastly, if you are staying at any of these establishments, the fact that you get a room upgrade, lounge access, and guaranteed late checkout makes this a pretty valuable Benny, in my opinion. The most valuable status level here, I'll admit, is the Marriott Gold, followed by Hilton Gold, and then the Starwood Gold. No offense to the others, but the Marriott Gold gets you a room upgrade, late checkout, free breakfast, lounge access, which are the most of the great perks you get out of this hotel status, Benny. All right. I love this one dearly. The airport lounge access. How many times are you traveling? Have a long layover? Just want to buy that cheap ticket, but it's an ugly layover? Well, this gives you airport lounge access and it's a guaranteed perk with the Amex Platinum card. So for many people, lounge access is one of my top three valuable perks of the Amex Platinum card. And so I'm going to go into a little more detail on how it works. The card comes with the following, an Amex Centurion lounge when you're on the same day confirmed ticket on any You heard me, any airline. And you can bring up to two guests and you don't have to pay a fee. Delta Sky Clubs, when you're on a same day Delta ticket, although the difference with them is you have to pay $29 for each additional guest access to the lounge. Priority Pass Lounges, you can bring up to two guests, no cost. And then you have access to Airspace Lounges. Uh, These are only available in three airports within the U.S., and that's San Francisco, JFK, and Cleveland. Whoa, Cleveland. (laughs) Okay. And you can bring up to two guests, and there's no cost associated with that either. So you have access to four types of lounges with this Platinum Card. So to access these lounges, you just present your Platinum Card, your boarding pass for that same-day flight. Don't go in there when your flight is, like, next month and naturally they're going to ask you for id just to be admitted to the lounge you could bring up to two guests either with a cost or without a cost and if it's a large group then that's going to cost you 50 bucks so you just have to weigh that in you can use the centurion lounge either on arrival or departure i tell you why i prefer these lounges because they're significantly better and just modern more snazzier Then the other lounges operated by those (coughs) U.S. airlines. All right. Little bonus tip. If you're flying to Dallas or Miami, those lounges, those Centurion lounges have spas where you can get a complimentary 15 minute massage or manicure. The only caveat, and you know there is when something's free, is they come on a first come first serve basis. So you have to make these appointments as soon as you get into the lounge, because oftentimes, as you would know, there's a wait of a couple of hours to get a treatment. So you'll notice you have access to the Delta Sky Club lounges, and there's like 50 locations around the world, which is cool, because remember, Nina doesn't really do domestic. 
they do have a fee. If I didn't mention it before, it's $29 per guest. And you want to make sure all your passes and membership to those passes are all activated up to date. That way you don't have any embarrassing moments when you try to get admission. So once you've activated, I know like I have a priority pass membership. It takes a couple of weeks and you just present your card. It's a black card and they're going to swipe it. They're going to ask you to sign and that's just to confirm your visit and you won't be charged. Alternatively, you could just use the app um, to access the lounge and that way you don't have to forget your card like me sometimes. And you don't have to go separately to the Priority Pass website. Your membership is linked to your Amex card. So all you got to do is sign up um, through your Platinum card. And it's really easy to do. So for the other lounges, just show your Platinum card from American Express. That guarantees your entry. And these lounges range from basic, you know, drinks, soft drinks, to very basic snacks, to other lounges such as the Centurion ones they are a little more schnazzy and have more to offer in terms of alcoholic drinks or just substantial food. I will say this, some of these lounges are a hike in the airport from what I discovered. It's not like it's around the corner. So you have to factor in that time of locating it on a map and walking to and from your gate. So make sure you keep that in mind. So next we have global entry. So I got mine maybe like four or five years ago. But those of you out there who don't have it, what are you waiting for? Those of you who are ready to apply, you don't have to go far. You can do it all with your Amex Platinum card. And it gets better. You get a credit of $100 that you could apply towards your global entry or TSA pre-check membership. And so this benefit applies to both the primary card member and if you have any authorized users, you can just pass the positivity. And you have to note that this benefit is only good once every four years, which is the duration of the global entry and TSA pre-check membership. So if you're not familiar on how it works, if you're living in the US, it just means you get expedited immigration upon arrival back home here in the United States. So rather than having to wait the usual immigration lines and customs, you just go to a global entry kiosk and you answer some of the basic questions. You know, you scan your fingerprints, da 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 da, they give you a printout, and that's what you use to get through the line at customs. This is a game changer and has really changed my international travel experience. Since nowadays, I land in the US and check this out. I'm on the curb or at least getting my luggage within the next five minutes of getting off my plane. Not literally, like literally, literally, because it probably takes five minutes to walk and get my luggage, but it's no longer that long wait. So if you're not familiar with TSA PreCheck, that gets you expedited security at most U.S. airports. And you don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take off your coat, your jacket, your sweater. So these are the check lanes where eligible travelers do not have to remove, you know, a lot of things that you would normally in the um, security lines. And passengers only have to go through the metal detector rather than the full body scanner. So your call to action is just contact that Amex concierge and or get on the website and kind of navigate your way through to applying for that global entry or TSA pre-check membership. All right, we got one more to go, maybe one and a half. So rental car statuses and upgrades is another useful perk for those of you who still drive out there. I mean... I don't drive beyond four hours, but if you have a family, this one totally makes sense. Or even just a group trip, a girl's trip. So Amex calls this the Car Rental Privileges Program, where you get all kinds of statuses and even discounts with Avis, Hertz, and National. So when I talk of statuses, I'm referring to car upgrades, priority services, which is such a luxe feeling 
I'm not going to go into all the perks because you could easily do that on the Amex Platinum card account page. You now have access to the executive selection, your guaranteed upgrades, especially as an executive member. You'll always pay one car class less. You have an exclusive reservation line where you can call 24 hours and you can take advantage of saving up to 20% on your rentals. When you mention this contract ID number, again, get your mobile 502 8695. If you use that and you're a platinum member, bam, it's automatically applied to any of your reservations. So the whole point of these rental car privileges is skipping the lines and the paperwork, which allows you access to go straight to your car upon arrival. In the case of a courtesy bus, this will drop you off at any of your rental cars, right? No need to walk. So there are some added perks there (laughs) with kind of a door-to-door type of service um, they have a contract they being avis does have a contract code it's called awd hashtag a is an apple seven five six nine hundred and you can use this when you rent twice within a six month period to receive any of these great discounts hertz has some different bennies They give you 20% off the contract rate. If you're running for the weekend, they'll give you 25% off. There's a four hour grace period. So take advantage of that and give yourself an extra four hours of vacation time. You get a one car class upgrade. And with all of them, or most of them, you should be able to earn airline miles or free car rental days over, you know, multiple rentals. So lastly, vacation packages. I kind of alluded to this earlier, but earlier, but you can book a family vacation with select vacation packages, cruises, hotels, and receive discounts, credits, amenities, such as guaranteed connecting or even adjoining rooms. So that is kind of what I teased out that would be of value when you're booking a family vacay. So those are some of the incredible perks available for Amex Platinum member travelers. And I certainly have not taken advantage of any of them but the Uber. So I'm embarrassed to say that, but I'm keeping it 100 with you. These status levels will get you some of the most valuable perks offered ranging from free breakfast, lounge access, airport lounges, late checkouts. I mean, come on. This is something that everyone should take advantage of. Remember to get away without going away. Who says you've got to get out of town to have a great getaway? Definitely not me. Well, yes, me in some cases, but I like my holidays and staycations. So these spots, they have great pools and rooftops and are prime for that little in the city summer escape. Hotel Tonight, and let me tell you, has the inside scoop on the coolest local hotels. In fact, a lot of them are boutique hotels. So use my promo code N-I-B-A-B-E-L on your first booking to get that Instagrammable shot. Review the show on iTunes, and even better, don't forget to subscribe so you never, ever, ever miss one of my Flyer Girl Talk episodes or the Keep It 100 Girl episodes. If you like what you heard, share it. Help me spread the word. I'm on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, TuneIn, Amazon Alexa, and Google Play Music. Can't get enough? Then you know what? Get social with the Flyer Girl herself. Use the handle at Nina Babel on Instagram and Twitter and join my 100 tribe and let me know what you think of this episode. Travel is my passion and it's my therapy. And if you've listened to my past travel episodes, you'll know my travel personality as well. So tune in next week. I got a few like destination type episodes coming up. One being Greece and one being Cartagena. I've been to both and I'm sharing you some inside scoop. Follow me on social so you know 
or want to catch up on my travel shenanigans, Flyer Girl Kids at 100, she keeps it real, she keeps it true. Smooches!